Hello, welcome to Brandon Socket. Please like, share, comment, and don't forget to hit the red button and subscribe. In this video, I want to cover a topic we've covered in the Blackbird CRM Opportunity Timeline video, but kind of go more in depth, and I just want to go through sort of a, a workflow on completing activities. So as we all mentioned in the first video for salespeople, the home dashboard, this is where my tasks will be listed out. So I can click on this header, it takes me right into my tasks, I can minimize it the upper right, but I like this lengthy view for some reason to start out. When I click on it, it shrinks it down. I still see the call activity or sort of the activity with the comment, so that's a, a good sign. Now, I'm basically going to come down to the timeline. I can see the history of all the previous activities. I can see the open tasks, vehicle of interest, all the information on this screen. Okay, so we're going to pick up the phone and call the customer and we're going to say left message. Uh, so left VM regarding rebates. Try again Wednesday. Okay, I know my typos are, are fine. So left a message. Green screen pops up. What do you want to do next? Well, I'm going to schedule another phone call. What am I going to schedule it for? Well, Wednesday. What time? I'll go 9:15. Call re rebates. Okay. Hit add. I would then hit my home dashboard on Wednesday morning, go through my activities, and when I get to this activity, I'm gonna again start it. At this time I spoke to Jaden, or to Brandon, and he said, wants to come in on Saturday with Michelle, his wife. Now we talked about uh, in another video uh, about special notes, it's a tip and tri tips and tricks. It's stored up here in special notes. If you wanna learn about uh, adding those notes in there, click on the link above. So now that I've got wants to come in on Saturday with Michelle, call on Thursday to set up a time. Hit save. And again, we're just walking through this process. So now we just schedule another call. When are we gonna schedule it for? Again, quick and easy. Thursday, call to book <coughs> TD appointment. But, you know, I like saying Bob and Bob's your uncle. And so, so on. And so on and so forth, right? You're just going through your activities, going through the list, completing them, and coming up with your, what's your game plan? That's the whole process. That's the behavior you need to set. Uh, what am I going to do next with the customer? So that's how you kind of work through um, activities that are generated. And so I did mention, how are activities generated? They're generated through campaigns. So if a prospect comes in and they happen to be a fresh up or a phone up or an internet lead or a sold customer or you know some sort of information, those processes trigger activities. Depending on your dealership, you may have a lot of you may have a lot of prospect activities or you may not. You may have one update your event the next day where you enter your game plan and now you're in charge of your future of your future activities. We do have a video on opportunity management where you can quickly review your opportunities and you can tell within one screen if anyone has future follow-up. So again, follow the link above for that video. That's all for this one. Please check out the next video. We're gonna talk about scheduling activities and what kind of lives in these reminders and, and how you would use those to your benefit. Another video on logging actions and then two separate ones. I'm gonna walk through emails so you can build an email template and text message. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.